orderly. Are you sure you're all right, Mary? Oh yeah, I have dizzy spells like this all the time. I just need some coffee. It has been too long. There's plenty of coffee around here. Just hang in there. Speaking of hanging, can I ask you a personal question? Looks like Mary has found herself a new boy toy. How can she do this? She knows how jealous I can be. The vile temptress. Can she show no mercy? Look at the way she lured her into her web of sin. Just like the Black Widow, she's found her prey. Soon she will drain him and leave only a lifeless shell. If only I could be near her. Close enough to smell her beautiful hair. If only I could touch her. Feel her naked body next to mine. If only I could be her. Did you say you wanted to be her, Rick? What? You can hear my thoughts? You can hear mine. Are you two all right? God, I want her. Boys, you're drooling. Rick and Joe wipe drool from their mouths. Here's one of our TV rooms where patients come to relax. Some of them found this place and never left. Old Sam here has been here for 20 years. Isn't that right, Sam? That's right! And I ain't moving! Don't worry, Sam. You don't have to move. Good! Because I ain't! Dolores has been here since the death of her husband. It's really quite tragic. How are you feeling today, Dolores? My God, it's you! You? I mean, me? M me who? Frank, I knew you weren't dead. I knew those government bastards had lied to me. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. All that matters is that you're here. Oh, Frank. Look, lady, I don't know you. Those government bastards, they must have brainwashed you. Don't you remember? It's me, Dolores. My name is Rick, lady. I'm not your husband. Shut up and go with it, boy. Oh, Frank. Let me go. I think he's had enough now, Dolores. You can't run for long, Frank. I'll get my hands on you, eventually. I think you guys better go. Marty's room is just down the hall. I guess I have to go too. How about I meet you back here in 20 minutes? Four forty four, this is the room. There's Marty. Shh, I think he's asleep. Try to wake him up. We have to ask him about this alien. Marty, Marty, are you asleep? Marty. Well, he's not going to wake up. I guess I'll go find that buff orderly now. Come on, you can do better than that. Fine. Marty? Marty? Marty! Ah! I think he's dead. That's ridiculous. His chair is rocking. Mary sees a control panel on the arm of the rocking chair. I think it's automatic. Here. Joe checks Marty's pulse. Ah, she's right! Oh no, poor Marty. Poor Marty? Poor us! We came all the way down here for nothing. That's so insensitive. Why don't you take some pictures or something? Oh yeah, I forgot. You left your film at the office. Well, I could have bought some at the store if someone hadn't spent all their money on coffee. Well, supposedly, someone here is a photographer. Phot 
photographers take pictures. To take pictures, you need film. So as a photographer, you should always have film. You're coming very close to having a one-way, all-expense paid trip to the moon. All right, all right, enough. I think we can forgive Joe for forgetting his film. Look, I'm going to find my grandfather and ask him some more questions. You guys can stay here with dead men rocking. So what do we do now? I think we need to tell someone that Marty's dead. There's that orderly. I'll tell him. Okay, that's really getting creepy. Joe turns off the rocking chair. What the heck are these? That's weird. Kate, check this out. There are holes. It looks like an electrical outlet fused on the back of his neck. Where are you going? I don't know about you, but I've got some investigating to do. <sighs> well, Marty, I guess it's just you and me. Ah, Kate, wait for me! That was a total waste of time. It wasn't a total waste of time. I got some more coffee. Mary pours coffee grounds into the coffee maker and turns it on. How can you even think about coffee at a time like this? I always think about coffee. Hey Mary, what happened to you in that manly orderly? I already told you everything. Everything? Well, we did share a bottle of rum. And, and he showed me one of the sponge bathrooms. And, and he gave me a sponge bath and a massage, okay? And, what are we in kindergarten? I think you can pretty much guess what happened after that. Did he show you his therapeutic body probe? Did he show you new uses for A535? Did he show you the sauna? They must have some good ones there. Actually, Mike, he did. It was very nice. You should go try it out. Cool. Well, it looks like we're in the same place we were before. Yep. Nowhere. I get it, Mary. A man with a jackhammer drilling through her skull. That's great, Mike. Look, you guys, I know it's discouraging that the story didn't turn out, but at least it was something. Something is better than nothing, which is what we've had all month. We should consider this a learning experience and move on. We'll have more leads, I know it. I think we should celebrate. That's a good idea, Mike. His only idea. That's enough, you two. Yes, miss. Good. Now go play in the sandbox with the other children. We have a sandbox? Why wasn't I told about this? Press office of the revealer, home of the real news. Mike speaking, how may I help you? Uh-huh, I see. I understand. No, that's okay. Thank you, goodbye. My credit check was denied. So? So now we won't be able to take advantage of those great, fabulous, long-distance savings. Coffee's ready. Want some? Your loss, my gain. Mary pours coffee into her cup. Ah, coffee. Cup of Joe. Life-giving, mysterious black liquid. My caffeinated friend. Grown in the nutrient-rich volcanic soil of southern Colombia. You were nestled under a tree, 
You didn't get much light there, but you were strong enough to survive. The farmer nurtured you, gave you plenty of love. <laughs> you were daddy's little girl. You were so ripe and fresh, picked at the peak of maturity, roasted just enough to bring out your bold yet subtle flavor. I missed you so much. I love you. Hey Mary, how about another cup of joe? Go away. Hey, wait a sec. Something's missing here. Kate's hair? No. Joe's shoes? No. Mary's coffee? No. Wait. Where's Rick? Rick? Well, um... We, uh... Kind of... We lost him. You lost him? The last time we saw him, this old lady Dolores had locked her arms around him and wouldn't let him go. I think it was sweet. Did you notice how his eyes were bulging out of his head? That's one strong old lady. Freedom! Speak of the devil. Joe, why did you leave me, Joe? Why did you leave me? I'm sorry, Rick. We had to leave. We had no choice. We couldn't go back for you. The needs of the many away the needs of the few. Am I alive? Are you real? Yes, Rick, I'm very real. And if you don't stop touching me, you're going to have a real problem. Mary grabs Rick's hand and crushes it. Understand? Yeah. Yes. What happened? She tried to show me the geriatric jiggle. She was like an animal, clawing, growling, foaming at the mouth. It was like some pornographic golden age werewolf movie and I was the unwitting victim. Did you get lucky? Mike, that's the stupidest question I've ever heard. Of course he didn't. Yes I did. She rolled me like a German merry-go-round. Oh man, you're sick. Press off is the revealer, home of the real news. Mike speaking, how may I help you? Oh sure, hold on. Kate, it's for you. Hello? But we were just down there, what happened? Hello? Really? Look, Dolores, it's not gonna work with us. I'm 23 and you're 81. Okay, 80 and a half, but that doesn't change anything. Right, we'll come right away. Dolores, don't cry. What's that noise? Dolores? Dolores? Hello? That was that orderly from the old folks home. Marty's body has disappeared. Yeah, right. I think he just wants a second helping of Virgin Mary. <laughs> Watch it, boyo. I was just talking to Dolores. I heard a strange noise, then the line went, Dead. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh no. What are we waiting for? Let's get down there. Hold on, wait just one minute. What if we go all the way down there and we don't get anything again? I got something last time. I could have gotten something. I stole a pen. The point is we have better things to do than run in circles all day. Like what? Like, well, um, exactly. Let's go. Just don't forget your film this time. Way to rub it in.